Have you seen the headline, China pulverizes Starlink with new laser tech? It's been making waves across news outlets and social media, sparking heated debates and wild speculation about the future of space technology. At first glance, it sounds like something straight out of a science fiction blockbuster. Lasers zapping satellites out of the sky, high-tech battles unfolding above our heads. But here's the twist. This story isn't about weapons, destruction, or some secret orbital war. It's about something far more fascinating and important. The real story is a race for information, a competition to revolutionize how we connect and communicate, not a space war with lasers as weapons. The laser in question isn't designed to blast things apart or disable satellites. Instead, it's a marvel of engineering built for precision and speed. Think of it as a super-fast, invisible fiber optic cable stretching from space down to Earth, carrying vast amounts of data at the speed of light. The real news here is a breakthrough in communication technology, a leap forward in how we send and receive information across the globe, not an act of aggression. Chinese scientists recently used a 2-watt laser, less power than a typical nightlight, to transmit data from a satellite to a ground station at a blazing 1 gigabit per second. To put that in perspective, that's fast enough to download a full HD movie in just 30 seconds, all while using almost no energy. It's a huge step for energy-efficient high-speed data transfer. This is a story of ingenuity, scientific progress, and creative problem-solving, not brute force or destruction. So, let's look past the sensational headlines and dig into what's really happening here. Innovation, not destruction, is at the heart of this story. We'll break down exactly what China accomplished with this laser communication breakthrough, how it stacks up against Starlink's own technology and ambitions, and why this leap forward could change the way we all connect, work, and live in the future. So forget the idea of space lasers pulverizing anything, let's get genuinely excited about the science and the possibilities it unlocks. The real space race is about harnessing light beams and data to connect our world, not about building new weapons. The future is bright and it's powered by innovation. So what did China actually do? Why is everyone in the tech and science world buzzing about this achievement? Using their Jilin-1 satellite, Chinese engineers managed to send a massive amount of data down to Earth using a laser. And they did it with just 2 watts of power. That's an incredibly tiny amount of energy for such a big job. For a bit of perspective, your phone's camera flash uses more power than that. Imagine your phone flash lighting up a room, and now imagine sending gigabytes of information across hundreds of kilometers with even less energy. In the harsh environment of space, every single watt is precious. Less power means satellites can be smaller, lighter, and much cheaper to launch and operate. This opens the door for more frequent and affordable missions. The laser managed to transmit data at a blazing speed of 1 gigabit per second. That's on par with the fastest fiber optic internet connections you might find in major cities on Earth. Pulling this off from a satellite hurtling through space while dealing with the constantly shifting and turbulent atmosphere below is a huge engineering challenge. It's like trying to shine a laser pointer through a swimming pool and hitting a moving target on the other side. Traditionally, satellites have relied on radio waves to send data. While reliable, radio waves are easier to intercept, jam, or eavesdrop on, making them less secure for sensitive information. Lasers, on the other hand, are highly focused and much more secure, but they have their own problems. They can be easily blocked or scattered by clouds, fog, or atmospheric turbulence. China's breakthrough shows they've found ways to keep the laser connection stable, even when the atmosphere isn't cooperating. This is a major step forward in overcoming one of the biggest hurdles in laser-based space communication. This isn't just a small step for satellite technology, it's a giant leap that could completely transform how we connect our planet, making global communication faster, safer, and more accessible. Imagine a future where real-time Ultra HD video streams from space are sent directly to Earth by swarms of small, affordable satellites. This could revolutionize everything from disaster response to live global broadcasts. That's why scientists, engineers, and even governments around the world are watching this development so closely. It's a game-changer. This technology could redefine the very foundation of global communications, connecting people and places in ways we've only dreamed of before. When you think satellite internet, you think Starlink, thousands of satellites, global coverage, radio waves to your home. Starlink satellites use lasers to talk to each other but connect to users with radio frequencies. China's Jilin-1 experiment is different, a single high-speed laser link from satellite to ground. It's not about mass internet access yet but about ultra-efficient, secure data transfer. 
Comparing the two is like a marathon runner versus a sprinter. Starlink is about scale, China's laser is about speed and precision. Starlink serves millions today, China's system is a proof of concept for the future. The pulverized narrative is misleading, they're not direct competitors. Starlink leads in deployment and reach. China's experiment wins on energy-efficient, high-speed transmission. Both push the boundaries of what's possible in space. Each system has its own strengths and goals. The real story is about different approaches to the same challenge. Innovation is happening on all sides. Sending a laser through Earth's atmosphere is tough. Air pockets bend and distort the beam just like stars twinkle. For data, this twinkling can ruin the signal. China's secret weapon, adaptive optics or AO, think of it as smart glasses for telescopes. A guide laser is sent up, gets distorted, and the system measures this. A special mirror on the ground then reshapes itself in real time to cancel out the distortion. Another system, multi-dimensional dynamic response, keeps the telescope locked onto the fast-moving satellite. Together, AO and MDR create a clear, stable path for the weak 2-watt laser. This combo lets the data beam cut through atmospheric chaos with precision. The result record-breaking speed and efficiency. It's a beautiful blend of physics, engineering, and computer science. China's team proved the biggest barrier to space-to-ground laser communication can be overcome. Let's talk about that word, pulverize. It conjures images of space weapons, but this laser is weaker than a laser pointer. You couldn't pop a balloon with it, let alone destroy a satellite. Its purpose is communication, not combat. Think of it as a flashlight sending Morse code. Brighter doesn't mean deadlier. The real innovation is in the ground system's ability to read such a faint signal. So, why the dramatic headlines? Conflict sells and the space race narrative grabs attention. But this isn't about weapons, it's about moving information faster and more efficiently. We need to look past the hype and ask, what's the real purpose? The story here is about progress in communication, not destruction. While the 2-watt laser isn't a weapon, the tech has big military implications. In modern defense, fast, secure data is everything. Laser communication is hard to jam or intercept. An enemy would need to be right in the beam's path. High speed means huge files can be downloaded in minutes as a satellite passes overhead. This enables near real-time intelligence and faster decision-making. It's a game-changer for the sensor-to-shooter loop, detect, process, act. The faster and more secure this loop, the more effective a military can be. China's breakthrough helps close the tech gap with the US, which has its own advanced laser comm programs. This isn't just catching up, it's innovating. The competition for the most resilient secure space infrastructure is heating up. The stakes are national security and global influence. This ultra-efficient laser tech isn't just for the military or internet. It could be key to future 6G networks connecting everything from phones to cars to infrastructure. In deep space, probes could send back high-def video from Mars or beyond in near real time. Adaptive optics could also enable global quantum communication, unbreakable security for the future internet. Earth observation would benefit too. Faster, more efficient data downloads mean better disaster warnings and climate monitoring. Small, low-power satellites could give us real-time views of our changing world, the possibilities are transformative. This technology could reshape how we explore, communicate, and understand our planet and beyond. It's a foundation for the next era of connectivity. The future is being built with light. The old space race was about flags and firsts. It was a contest of national pride, a demonstration of technological might, and a race to see who could reach the unknown first. Planting a flag on the moon was more than a scientific achievement. It was a symbol of global leadership and ambition. Today's race is about building the infrastructure that will define power for decades. Instead of a single destination, the focus is on creating a vast, interconnected web of technology that will shape how nations and companies interact, communicate, and compete far into the future. It's a race to control the flow of information in space. Data is the new currency, and whoever manages its movement and security will hold the keys to influence and prosperity. Launch capability, satellite design and, most critically, communication networks are the new battlegrounds. The ability to send, receive and protect information in orbit is now as important as launching rockets themselves. Whoever builds the most robust data network in space will have a huge advantage. 
these networks will determine who can lead in navigation, defense, commerce, and even daily life on Earth. This race has many players, the US with its legacy of innovation and deep resources, China rapidly advancing with bold investments, Europe, India and Japan, each bringing unique strengths and ambitions to the table. And private companies like SpaceX and Amazon are rewriting the rules. Competition is fierce, alliances shift, and innovation accelerates as new players enter the field and established ones adapt. China's laser breakthrough shows they're not just copying, they're pioneering. They're pushing boundaries, setting new standards, and challenging the status quo. The ultimate prize? A cis-lunar economy, lunar bases, asteroid mining, space manufacturing, and more. Whoever leads here will shape the next era of human progress, unlocking resources and opportunities beyond Earth. None of this is possible without reliable communication and navigation. These are the invisible threads that tie the entire space ecosystem together, enabling every mission and every breakthrough. Today's laser tech is the backbone for tomorrow's space economy. High speed, secure and efficient, these systems will support everything from exploration to commerce. These invisible highways will connect Earth to the moon and beyond, making it possible to send information, resources, and even people across vast distances with unprecedented speed and reliability. The new space race is about who can build the future's digital infrastructure. It's not just about reaching space, it's about shaping how humanity will live, work, and connect in the cosmos for generations to come. So, who's winning the new space race? It depends on how you define victory. Starlink leads in scale and customers, millions served, thousands of satellites. China's laser achievement is a leap in technology, showing mastery in secure, high-speed data transfer. It's not a single race, but a decathlon, different events, different leaders. The US dominates in launch and deployment, China excels in precision and innovation, each breakthrough pushes everyone forward. This competition accelerates progress and brings the future closer. Whether it's global internet or secure data links, these advances benefit us all. The real question, where is this race taking us? And are we ready for what comes next?